In this video, I am going to discuss about the bond polarization uh, under the chapter 4 that is structural theory in organic chemistry. Yes. Uh, so, this is what is a bond polarization. Before understanding what is bond polarization, let's understand a um, few concepts like what are uh, diatomic molecules and how many types of diatomic molecules are there. <clears throat> Here, when we see there are two types of diatomic molecules, homo diatomic molecules and hetero diatomic molecules. Yes, uh, let's see what are homo diatomic molecules. For example, if we take H2 here, that is hydrogen or for that matter chlorine. Now let's go with H2 here, where there are two atoms here, as I'm drawing here. Uh, yes, two atoms which are sharing a single electron pair. That means two electrons there. <coughs> sharing here yes which are shared by means of a single covalent bond and this pair of electrons as we can see here is equidistant from these two atoms that means they are at the same distance between these two atoms these two electrons are shared equally that means they are at a equidistant or at the same distance from these two nucleus nuclei so these are called as homo diatomic molecules and such type of molecules are called as pure covalent molecules pure covalent molecules and such type of bond where it is shared equally between the two atoms and the electron pair is at the same distance from the centers of the nuclei are called as pure covalent bonds if you notice one point here, so the two atoms which are sharing the electron pair are of the same electronegativity because they are of the same type here. But when we go for heterodiatomic molecules here, for example, the HCl, where the electron pair here is shared unequally between the two atoms. See, the pair of electrons here is slightly shifted towards the chlorine atom. It's not exactly at the center. So it's not at the same distance in between the two atoms. So the electron pair is slightly shifted towards the chlorine atom. It's not equidistant from the two atoms, from the uh, centers of the two nuclei of the two atoms. Why this is happening? Yeah, and these are called as Heterodiatomic molecules, hetero means different, the different atoms are sharing the ele electron pairs unequally. This is unequal sharing of the electrons. And such type of molecules are called as uh, uh, such type of molecules are called as yeah, polar covalent molecules and the bond which is shared in between them is polar covalent bonds. Why this is happening? Why this unequal sharing is happening in between these two atoms? Yes, this is because of the difference in the electronegativity here. The Cl which is a halogen is more electronegative than that of the hydrogen here. Because of this more electronegativity, and there is a difference in between the electronegativities of hydrogen and chlorine here. The chlorine will try to draw the electrons towards it. It is drawing the electrons towards it. It tends to attract the electrons towards it because of its greater electronegativity. So <clears throat> because of this, the polarity is developed in between the two atoms and in the molecule, the polarization is taking place. This is what is bond polarization. Yeah. Let's see this a uh, little more clearly. Yes. If you see the <clears throat> bond formation and the sharing of the electrons here, see the electron pair, which is 
supposed to be equidistant from the centers of the two nuclei, that is Cl and H, it is slightly shifted towards the <clears throat> chlorine atom as we see this red color dot here. So it is shifted here. As a result, the Cl is getting the partial negative charge and the hydrogen is getting the partial positive charge. This is called as delta sign and if there's a positive charge in it, it's partial positive and this is partial negative charge. <clears throat> and the sh uh, <clears throat> now, so yeah, now coming to the exact definition of bond polarization here, see the electron displacement is taking place. See that electrons are slightly shifted towards the Cl atom or the electrons are displaced. It's not exactly in the center here. See, when we take the example of CH here, the electrons are shifted towards the chlorine atom. <clears throat> it is not exactly in the center. It is shifted. This is electron displacement. Or electron redistribution. The, the electrons are redistributed again, distributed again. This is what is bond polarization <clears throat> and this bond polarization can be represented in between these two molecules with an arrow in between them like this which means that with the partial positive charge and the partial negative charge the electrons are shifting from or drawn from hydrogen to chlorine atom Yes, this is what is bond polarization. The bond polarization is nothing but the electron displacement or the electron redistribution of the bond pair of electrons. Yes. <clears throat> now this bond polarization can be measured with the help of a dipole moment here. This is the dipole moment, which is represented by mu here. So mu is equal to E into D, where E is the electron charge density and D is the distance in between the electronic charges. And this is measured in dBi units represented by D here. So the polarity can be measured with the help of dipole moment. <clears throat> Yes, let us look at the example for this. Uh, if you see the examples of um, halogen atoms with H atom here, let's look at this uh, dipole moment values now. For HF, it is 2 dB units, HCl is 1.03, HPr is 0.79, HI is 0.38. As we, as electronegativity is decreasing, the uh, the <clears throat> dipole moment is also decreasing constantly here. So we can see these values here, which means that the polarity is decreasing. The higher the electronegativity, where fluorine is the most electronegative of all the halogen atoms, it is the maximum dipole uh, moment, which, is, which, see, which shows that HF is highly polar when compared to that of HCl or HPR or HI. So as the electronegativity is decreasing, the polarity is also decreasing, which can be known from their dipole moment values. <clears throat> and the dipole moment is represented by this sign with an arrow <clears throat> sign like this here. Yes, this ends the topic of bond polarization here.